everyone, I'm Kelsey McDonald, and today is a special day because I have with me television host, author, activist, and one of the fabest of Queer Eyes Fab Five. Welcome, Karama Brown. How are you? Kelsey, I'm so happy to be here with you. Can we tell everybody that I swear that I must be following your career, and I know you because I'm like, I know Kelsey. You're gonna make I me cry. Kelsey. Mama, I've made it. <laughs> <laughs> and we're about to play a little game I like to call your favorites. So basically, I'm going to, you know, ask you your favorite drink, and then you'll reply super quickly. It's kind of like a lightning round. So are you ready to play? Oh, play awesome. Okay, first up, your favorite Instagram account you follow. Ooh, Chrissy Teigen's. Oh my gosh, don't get me started on Chrissy Teigen. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows I'm obsessed with her, so. Your favorite go-to snack? Mm, Starburst or string cheese or pretzels. My best friend is over here and he was like, girl, you eat a lot of pretzels. Your favorite thing to do with your family? Oh, just watch TV. I know that sounds so boring, but like, when I'm on the couch and we're all like comfy, I'm like, yes, heaven. Your favorite movie? Ooh, um, it's two. Clueless and Forrest Gump. Guys, I have chills right now. That is literally my favorite movie as well. Really? I just watched it on Thanksgiving. It's my favorite. It's my husband's favorite movie as well. Wow. It's so good. We're gonna have a movie tonight. <laughs> oh my gosh, please. Okay, last but not least, your favorite dessert. Ooh, is candy a dessert? Because I really, really love, I love that my best friend is over here telling me, what do you think my favorite is? <laughs> oh, he said a cupcake. Yeah, cupcake is up there. I don't know, but candy, you can just put a bowl of candy in front of me and I'd be happy. Same. <laughs> love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Them, like, who's my favorite queer eye cast me? Okay, who's your favorite queer eye cast me? <laughs> I hate them all. No, I'm joking. Um, it depends on the day of the week because there's some days that Bobby and I are super close, some days Annie and I are super close. Some days, Auntie and I. That's the beauty of having like siblings like this, is that you just get to fluctuate back and forth. And I think they have the same answer as well. Love it. Thank you so much for playing with me, Karamo. So I have to ask, how are you handling the times that we're in with quarantine and the pandemic and everything that's going on? Ooh, you know, quarantine has been hard for, I think, all of us. Um, and I think the biggest thing that we need to realize is that what we've all been experiencing is grief. We've been grieving the loss of so many things that we all thought that we were going to have this year, from financial stability to our freedom to, you know, have fun to go out. We've been grieving our health, those we've lost. I mean, it's a hard time. And I think everyone is dealing with the pandemic differently. And I think it's so important to give people the space to deal with it how they need to deal with it and um, just try to take it one day at a time. Definitely, I think that is the best way to put it. And I was just about to ask, like, what are you doing to stay positive in general, but most importantly, especially that the times that we're in? Yeah, you know, one of the things that I do is I tell people all the time, comparison is the thief of joy. And I think when we compare ourselves to other people, we end up not seeing the things in our lives that are actually truly blessings that we have for ourselves that are great. And I think that's what you have to be focusing on. Definitely. And I don't know about you, but FaceTime has become my best friend during quarantine. <laughs> I love connecting with everybody on FaceTime. Okay, now I have to ask, what are you doing to keep yourself busy? Because you're a busy man. So I'm learning TikTok. I'm learning French right now, which is really nice. I've just been spending a lot of time with my kid. I'm just trying to manage my stress because for me, when I'm stressed, um, I suffer from migraine. And so everything I do right now is about managing my stress so that way I can feel good and just have a productive day. Definitely, and even going off of this, you recently opened up about your personal journey with self-care and migraine. Now, how has this affected your life? Yeah, it's affected my life deeply. You know, when you suffer from something that's debilitating, it's hard because especially when there's stigma attached where people don't understand, when you suffer from migraine, people say to you, oh, it's just a headache. And when people dismiss what you're experiencing, it feels very isolating and it hurts believe other people when they tell you what's going on with their bodies. And that kind of goes into my next question of how can you help others with this? You know, helping other people with who suffer from migraine or just who suffer, period. I think it's about believing them, talking to them, supporting them, educating yourself, you know, on what they're experiencing. If I'm in a space where I feel debilitated, it's okay to go Google what I might be experiencing and then ask me about it because everyone's, you know, you know, experience is different. Okay, so kind of switching gears for a second, what can you tell us about the next season of Queer Eye? Well, yeah, you know, we were in the beginning of shooting it. We were shooting season six in Texas and we shot one full episode and then all of a sudden the pandemic hit and we literally walked out of the person's home after we did our final goodbyes and reveals. We walked outside and we were gonna take um, a cast photo because we always take a cast photo from the house before we leave. And they were like, nope, no cast photo, get in the car. 
the, you know, you gotta, we gotta get you all out of Texas right now. You gotta go home. The network has told us that we are coming back, but it's, you know, until we all, I know, very excited. For us, it's like, we really love being around each other. And so when it got cut abruptly, it was like, what is going on here? Once we work together as a country to get back on the same page of supporting each other, getting this pandemic under control is when we get to go back to work. Now, what is the best advice you've either ever gotten or like to give to teens and young adults today? Don't be afraid of growing slowly, only of standing still. What I think is so important because I think sometimes you get into a space where you can see other people growing past you or doing things that you want to do. Why are they married? Why is this happening? You know, and as I said before, comparison is a thief of joy, you know, and so like be confident in knowing like this is your journey. Whatever you're doing, it's okay. Just don't be stagnant in a place where you're not happy and where you're not doing what you want and where you're not talking and sharing your feelings. Okay, so for the last question of the day, what can we expect from you next? What are you working on? Oh my gosh, I have so much. 2020, I was supposed to announce big projects and big television things that we're supposed to be seeing in 2020 outside of Queer Eye, big, big things I'm talking about, for me especially. And then 2020 hit, I couldn't announce any of it. And so I'm like ready for 2021 to come around for us to get this pandemic under control so that these things can be announced. But there are some great things in the works. But I think the most thing I'm excited about is to get back with my, my babies and for us to like do what we love and get Queer Eye back on track. Yay! Well, I think that's something to look forward to for hopefully 2021 next year. Some of those announcements. Yes, 2021. Well, thank you so much, Karamo. This has been so fun. Thank you all so much for watching Karamo and myself. Make sure to check out more from Karamo and all of his socials at Karamo, which will be linked down below. Make sure to subscribe to the ATV Daily Report channel for more and follow at Awesomeness TV on Instagram for more. I'm Kelsey McDonald and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!